a Yuletide tradition. Just my official stance on Christmas trees, I'm anti-spruce pro first. With a messy side. For many people, cleaning drop needles from Christmas trees is not a favorite holiday activity. Well, they want a Christmas tree that's going to last them. But in the Pacific Northwest, where about a third of the nation's Christmas trees are grown, scientists are working hard to breed trees that don't shed too many needles. Uh, the demand for trees uh, to last longer is, uh, is much higher than it was when I was a kid. Washington State University researcher Gary Chastagner has been working on improving Christmas trees for more than three decades. Of course, I would avoid picking a tree like this. He says needle shedding is one of the top reasons consumers opt for artificial trees. It all comes down to tree DNA. Needle retention is an inherited trait. If a tree holds needles well, its offspring will too. He cuts branches early in the fall. He lets the branches dry out, and then his team looks for branches that don't shed. Christmas trees, the uh, length of time that they can be displayed, and the quality during that display is largely influenced by their moisture content, their ability to maintain moisture, and their ability to retain uh, a needle, so their needle retention. If a branch does well, it means the tree has good genetics for keeping needles, so growers can seek out seeds from those trees. So the goal is to, once we identify those markers, develop some markers to identify those, uh, that genetic difference, then see if we can use those markers to test the population of trees to identify the ones that have good needle retention. But while the research continues, he recommends Christmas tree buyers water their trees well if they want to reduce shedding. Tom Ritchie, Associated Press.